Hello beautiful and lovely gamers, my name is Jonal today. We're talking about everything that you should know about the Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta. Since it's only going to be for not too long, it's going to be here for a couple of days. Um, it's it's important to essentially just get everything up to speed, get everything to, up to wrap. Um, even if you're watching this uh, and the beta is over and it's for the later <laughs> release of Blackout, it's still nice to know what you're jumping into before um, essentially playing the game so you can you can immediately start playing it as has to not have to try to figure out how the menu system works and so on which is sometimes a little bit of a hassle and it's a little bit confusing in this game to be honest um, you have to put some some time into it before you kind of start getting it completely and when I'm when this video goes live um, it's on a Saturday and I will be leaving tomorrow for Denmark for the funeral of my grandfather so I will be gone probably until Wednesday and when it comes to Twitch streaming and so on um, Check the description also for discord server and the Twitter and so on I will update the schedule and so on probably when I get back from Denmark Since I'm not 100% sure how much I will be behind on university work um, But yeah besides that if you're interested in joining the Overwatch tournament, which is um, Gonna be probably in a, in a couple of weeks um, you can go to a Discord server, check announcement, and there's a ping there. Um, the tag there, one telling you how you can sign up. You need to sign up before the end of this weekend, though, or else you won't be able to participate. It will be streamed live on my Twitch, which, again, link down in the description. Now, so, the Blackout Beta. What do you need to know? Well, the first thing to kind of get is how the menu system works. It's a standard battle royale game, right? You drop out, you, you kind of glide. And one of the cool things about the gliding mechanics here is if you just... Uh, on the right hand side you will see kind of like at the centimeter where if you just fall straight down it's going to be one arrow if you make a steep angle you're going to get two arrows and then three arrows you're going to really really fast um one of the things however that's in the beta i don't know if that's a bug or what it is if you go straight down and get three arrows for, for a short period of time and kind of like the speed up and then immediately fl and you can flat out and you kind of keep a lot of the speed so you can kind of bolt straight down then you can kind of flat out and then you won't you will you will fly with a really high velocity without dropping too much so you can do this to kind of like um, get much faster to the ground and much faster to the location without having to essentially well offer well trade away speed nor range which is kind of a little bit broken I, don't, I think that that's a bug but that's one of the things that you can do that I figured out um, it's a better way of gliding I found it out like the last couple of hours that I've been playing now, besides that, it's a standard beta. You go, you pick up weapons. There are no rarities in that way. If you find a yellow weapon, um, that means that the weapon is just fully loaded up with attachments. Of course, you can swap out those attachments as you want to, but it is just a deck that I want. To, besides that, you find normal weapons that you don't have any attachment on. You run around, you pick up attachments and so on. Um, it, on, on mouse and keyboard, if you press F, you swap out the attachments. So if I have a red dot and I find a, a magnified op optic, and I press F, I don't pick it up, I swap out mine. If I press G, however, I'd put it into my inventory. And the inventory is kind of the one thing that's a little bit confusing because th there's some stuff on, on the screen. So essentially, um, on your right-hand side, when you go into your inventory, you will see two things. You will see your gun up top with all its attachment. And also, if you see very closely on the picture, um, the, it says weapon 1 and weapon 2. And you can kind of choose... Um, which one so you can kind of swap in between I first when I started playing I went out of my inventory swapped weapon and then went back in this like little faster way to do it straight up there um, under that there's a hit there's a that set and then under that again you see there is storage essentially if you have a backpack or if you don't have a backpack there's only one tier of backpack as much as I figured out and then you have your equipment this is the one gadget that you have equipped to your hotbar so you can use that and this is everything from flashbang to grenades to deployable shield to barbed wire, uh, grappling hook, all kinds of gadgets like that is equipped from there. And that's kind of the one that you have equipped right now. If you run out of, let's say I have right now concussive nades equipped on, on the screenshot. If I burn both of those and throw them out, it will immediately just find a random equipment in my inventory if I have something and tend to take that in. Of course, I can just go into my inventory and then I can just left click on another equipment and it will swap it, it, my current one that's equipped for this one that I clicked on the inventory. Very simple stuff. Now, in the middle, you will have your inventory. And as you can see there, I have two rows because I have a backpack. Normally, you start with one row. And in there, you store everything. You store attachment that you're still not using, nades, perks, and especially perks, which I'll talk a little bit about later. And also some of the equipment and some of the healing items that you haven't been equipped. It's very standard. That's your inventory. And then on the left-hand side, you see you have all the ammo. And this is very interesting that... They, it's not like you, in, let's say in PUBG, for example, you, you take a backpack and then you fill the backpack with a certain amount of ammo. Here, you just have slots for every single of these bullet types, and then you kind of just 
pick up. So there's no, as I understand it, as I've tried for for some time now, there's no downside in picking up ammo. You just pick up ammo, and therefore you can just fill out. So when I, so I, it's not like I have to go uh, for five fifty six because it's gonna take a certain amount of inventory space. I just pick up every single ammo type that I can find, and that way I will have it. Um, besides that, under the the ammo counter, there's your healing, which is the healing item that you're currently equipped, kind of like the equipment just for healing item, the one that you have currently now selected to be the one that you use if you press the hotkey, which is X for heal. Um, and then you also have your gear, and your gear is essentially armor. There's three, three stages of armor, tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. And that's really all they don't there's not there's no helmet it's just you have body armor or not um i do believe tier three ha tier three and maybe tier two comes with helmets not 100 percent sure how that works yet but in general pick up the higher tier armor if you find some it's it's very easy to see um which one is is which tier and if not then you can hover over it for a second to find it out now that's how the inventory system works. besides that it's fairly simple now if you have not seen this map before this is the map that we're playing on right now. So as you can see, there's plenty of locations. You've probably already been over this. And, and I'm not going to highlight too many of them. Logically, the, the, the named location is like named location in most Battle Royales. It's bigger, it's more buildings, and more loot there. What I, how, well, how, what I want to, to highlight is, is a couple of things. First, Asylum, which is um, on the right side of your map. And essentially, that is a zombie area. Meaning you spawn in there, you go into the houses and so on. And zombies will start attacking you. And that is... Filled with loot. Most people know zombies are there, but it's filled with loot. There's so much stuff. And if you kill zombies, they also start dropping um, weapons. There are also specific zombie weapons, like a uh, like so, kind of like a Winchester and another like fully auto uh, LMG style gun that you can get there. You can also get monkey bombs, which are not really effective outside of zombies. But that's really one of the cool um, uh, cooler areas essentially to go to if you want loot. Of course, said it is a little bit more contested. The zombies are super easy to kill. They don't really do much resistance. They don't really fight that much. Um, they can kind of source you. If you have armor on, like body armor, they will start tearing on your body armor before you tear on your HP. So it takes quite some time for them to do with you. And there's a perk called Brawler, which does that if you do melee, you will heal and regenerate HP. So it's it's not that difficult to deal with the zombies. The only thing is, if there's multiple enemies in it, there's then you hear the footsteps of the zombies, and you're not 100% sure always if it's the footstep of a zombie or an enemy with a gun that you're looking for. So you can kind of get... I have been uh, hugging, like, uh, ADSing down a corner to cover a door because I heard footsteps, and then the zombie peeks from that one, and the enemy player comes behind me and kills me in the back. So that's the one thing. And especially one of the things, you will see blue light pillars um, come up. One of them is right next to Asylum, where there's this uh, kind of like graveyard area, um, which is also infested by a lot of zombies. And those areas where you see the blue lights is essentially the zombie crate. Kind of like if you ever play zombie where you can go and purchase, you don't need to have any coins or anything. Essentially, it's just a loot stash. So you go there and there you can find some good weapons and good loot um, and so on. Same, there's also airdrops to fly around. And those airdrops uh, normally have some high tier... Um, what's it called? How to get uh, armor? So you can only find tier 3 armor in those, and you can also a lot of time find stuff such as grenade launchers or more like specialist weapons. So, for example, you can find War Machines grenade launchers. That's the one I've been finding most. I don't know if the, how many other guns there are in those one, but the War Machines grenade launcher is in there at least, and it's actually a blast to use. It's a really strong gun to have if you like um, grenade launchers, and it's the only grenade launcher in the game. Um, besides that, those, that's what those blue lights are, so they're kind of like smaller loot drops, they're not too powerful to be honest, at least the loot that I've been finding in them, but you can be lucky. Uh, every time I go to the to the funeral area, I always found a golden gun, meaning I find a fully loaded out weapon, I found a 50 cal sniper rifle L L and an LMG, um, fully decked out, so that's of course our area. So Asylum is one of those that I really highly want to um, point out for you to, to go and check out. Besides that, estate on the top map and also construction site, those have a chance to contain helicopters. Highly recommend you taking those out just because it's really fun to fly around, especially if you have a squad. And those are also pretty good ones. If you ever played estate, it's a really fun area to, to have gunfights in and the construction site is just a lot of loot, a lot of fun levels and I think it's an interesting and more like fun compared to stuff like Fire and Range and RA and Rivertown and, and Fracking Tower and all that stuff. It, it's it's a little bit... It, it, it's more special and therefore for me at least it's far more fun than any other others. Besides that guys, there isn't really much else. You guys can check out what weapons you like. I have my preferences on certain guns right now. Um, and I do believe that something like the 50 cal sniper is maybe the best sniper in the game right now just because of the velocity and the damage output you can get from it. Um, but besides that, uh, I hope that this video helps. As I said, 
if you if you on this channel you guys are used to my overwatch content i will be posting other games in between in case something happens to overwatch i get tired you guys get tired or watch whatever happens um just to keep this channel safe and stable and also because i do play these games and i highly enjoy a lot of them so i do love making videos on them and covering them um, so yeah, that's everything that you should need to know about Blackout. I hope that this video helped. And if it did, then please plus like. Please take care of yourself. I love you guys very, very much. Stay positive. My name has been Joel, and you guys keep it the enemy, as always, in your crosshairs.